This video discusses two methods in TerraSculptor to get large 8km and 16km real-world terrains into Unity 2020 LTS. TerraSculptor has two main methods for obtaining large real-world terrain height maps, through DEM file importing or using the Mapper DEM Explorer. First off, make sure that you have the TerraSculptor settings units set to 100 cm. We will then prepare two different size height maps using two different techniques for importing into Unity. TerraSculptor currently supports 18 different DEM file formats. Use the Digital Elevation Model Sites dialog on the Tools menu to locate a source for the real world terrain height maps or use your favorite DEM site. A site with 1 meter resolution data would be preferred. If you are downloading DEM tiles, they can be stitched together in the Import Tiles dialog. In this example, I will be simply importing a 10 km 1 meter DEM that I already downloaded from the USGS FTP site. Crop or resample the height map to a power of two size such as 2048 or 4096. In this example, we will be using 8192 since we want a large 8 km terrain. If you resample, then you'll have to use the original resolution in the terrain size properties in Unity. Normalize the height map. Check the file scale range for the height map as we will require that for the Unity Terrain Vertical range. In this example, 633.7 meters. To export the height map to be compatible with Unity Terrain tools, make sure that the height map is a power of two size. In this example, 8192. On the TerraSculptor file menu, choose the Export Terrain item, navigate to the Save folder, Set the file type to raw binary, type in a file name such as heightmap8192.raw, and click on the Save button. On the Raw Export dialog, be sure that the 16-bit short unsigned format is selected and Intel format, then click on the OK button. This video assumes that you already have Unity 2020 LTS installed and working and licensed, and that you have started a new 3D project in Unity Hub. I chose a third person template so that I have a character to run around the terrain. For this large terrain system, we will be using the new Experimental Terrain Tools plugin. On the Unity window menu, choose the Package Manager. Choose the Unity Registry for the Packages in Project Source. The Terrain tools are still in preview, so click on the Settings gear and open the Advanced Project Settings. In the Package Manager Advanced Settings, enable the Enable Preview Packages checkbox and close the dialog. In the Package Manager search bar, search for Terrain tools and click on Install. On the Unity window menu, choose the Terrain Item Flyout and Terrain Toolbox. On the Terrain Toolbox dialog, enable the Import Height Map section and expand that section. Enable the Use Raw File checkbox and then browse for the Heightmap 8192.raw file that we saved previously. Since I am importing an 8192 height map, I set the tile height resolution to 4097 and I set the number of tiles to 2x2. Two two, since 2 times 4097 tiles is an 8192 terrain. If you like, you can set this to more tiles, such as 4x4 four four of 2049 or 8x8 eight eight of 1025. On the general section, set the total terrain width and total terrain length to the size of your height map in meters. In my case, I will set this to 8192 or 8 kilometers for each. The terrain height is set to the value that I saw in the TerraSculptor file scale dialog for the total height map range. Then click on the Create button.
As you can see, I have a really nice 8 km terrain system in Unity. You can now adjust the Terrain Actor properties, including its Z location, by selecting the terrain in the scene list and dragging the axis icon. I then moved the third person character over to the terrain and placed it on the edge. I temporarily shut off the fog so that I can see the entire map. You can adjust this as you see fit for your world design. If I play the map, I can now run on the terrain. TerraSculptor includes a built-in tool for retrieving DEM height maps from the internet, the Mapper Explorer. Create a new project of any size. The size will be automatically updated and select the Mapper on the Create menu. Navigate to the location that you would like to retrieve. Go to the zoom level that results in a 16384 height map size and click on download. Check the file scale range for the height map as we will require that for the Unity terrain. In this example, 3599.95. If you get an all white height map, that means that the location that you chose had voids. So enable the void fill option and re-download. To export the height map to be compatible with Unity Terrain Tools, make sure that the height map is a power of two size. In this example, 16384. On the Terrasculptor file menu, choose the Export Terrain item, navigate to the Save folder, set the file type to raw binary, Type in a file name such as heightmap 16384raw and click on the save button. On the raw export dialog, be sure that the 16-bit short unsigned format is selected and Intel format, then click on the OK button. Start a new third-person template project in Unity. For this large terrain system, we will again be using the new Experimental Terrain Tools plugin. On the Unity window menu, choose the Package Manager. Choose the Unity Registry for the Packages in Project Source. The Terrain tools are still in preview, so click on the Settings gear and open the Advanced Project Settings. In the Package Manager Advanced Settings, enable the Enable Preview Packages checkbox and close the dialog. In the Package Manager search bar, search for Terrain tools and click on Install. On the Unity window menu, choose the Terrain Item Flyout and Terrain Toolbox. On the Terrain Toolbox dialog, enable the Import Height Map section and expand that section. Enable the Use Raw File checkbox and then browse for the Heightmap 16384.raw file that we saved previously. Since I am importing a 16384 height map, I set the tile height resolution to 4097 and I set the number of tiles to 4x4, four four, since 4 times 4097 tiles is a 16384 terrain. If you like, you can set this to more tiles, such as 8x8 of 2049 or 16x16 16 of 1025. On the General section, set the total terrain width and total terrain length to the size of your height map in meters. In my case, I will set this to 16384 or 16 kilometers for each. The terrain height is set to the value that I saw in the TerraSculptor file scale dialog for the total height map range. Then click on the Create button.
move the third person character up to the terrain and enjoy your walk or run. In the next video we will discuss using splat map texturing.